Last night's Super Bowl broadcast had some great plays, but also some great commercials. It featured celebrities like Steve Martin, Ben Affleck, Serena Williams. Joining us right now is Kevin Krim, EDO's president and CEO, who's been measuring all of these and their impact, at least based on, Kevin, let's talk us through this, who searches things on the internet right afterwards. That's, That's what right. you guys are measuring. That's the main thing. Ooh. Yep. And, and based on that, I mean, I, I was just going back and forth because your list of memorable ones was not the same list I had. I, I saw some of these commercials. Some of them I don't remember. And I guess part of that is what you guys are searching for. When somebody sees something and they want to find out more information, they go immediately to the Internet and start uh, trending through. Right, Becky. And why that matters is that when we see people searching for or going to the websites of the brands that are advertising, that's a very good predictor of changes in market share, of sales lift, of the kind of results that shareholders want. I mean, that makes sense. It, it, you're, you're tracking, like, the absolute change in behavior as a result of this. But I think some of them, for a brand like Dunkin' Donuts, I know what Dunkin' Donuts is. I'm not yep. going to go look, but even though I liked the ad and it made me laugh. Same thing with avocados. I know what avocados are. The Steve Martin Pepsi ad I thought was great, but I know what these things are. So there's not really a reason for me to go to right. the Internet and search them. Right, right. Well, you take some of these very well-known brands like M&M's, which was in our top ten, yeah. and the use of Maya Rudolph in that case with humor, that really nailed it, I think, for m and and it's the kind of brand shift that you can see reflected in behavior like what we measure that is important for somebody like Mars who want to move the needle on, you know, getting past some of the past controversies and I was focusing just gonna say, on. They, they, were, they were in a specific situation yeah. where they created a new m and ms character that irritated some part of their of the population and they were trying to do some some Right. And so they really control. what we showed is that they moved the needle. They did change the the perception and the goals. What was the number one ad? It was the the it flash was the, trailer. The flash trailer. So I mean DC is in a big battle with Marvel. Right. Um, I think if you're a Warner Brothers Discovery you know, a uh, shareholder right now, you're feeling good. Disney, though, also moved the needle in a big way with their Disney 100 campaign spot, which was, you know, yeah, touched all the right notes. That, 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 that one was like a, a little bit, if you've, if you've watched any of these movies, if you know anything over the years with your kids, that one also kind of touched a chord with things. The so Walt Disney Company, Dream Come True, that was number three. Yeah. Um, he gets us. Love your enemy. Which one was that? I'm so this is the ad. This is um, backed by the, the founder of Lo uh, Hobby Lobby. And this is a campaign that um, has been running across the NFL, very high profile oh, all this. season. Yeah. And it's an attempt by, you know, uh, a certain group of, of, of Christians to uh, change the narrative from Trumpism. Well, this is the this is the what would Jesus do in some of these yes. situations yes. ads that are there. And very effective. Yeah. This is what our data show. You know, what's interesting is these ads have been running before the Super Bowl. Same thing with a couple others that popped up in here and some of the ones I saw last night. Does it matter if you debut an ad in the Super Bowl or if you're running it ahead of time? Our data doesn't really show that it matters one way or the other. I mean, we had Timu, um, this Chinese shopping uh, app and service that had t the only brand that had two ads in the top 10. It was the same creative, a 30 second spot. That's a brand new uh, brand for most uh, consumers in the US, if not all, and it really popped. Whereas we had other new that didn't. Uh, and so that's you know, one where I think it is a lot about what the creative is saying. I mean, that says something to me, the idea that it's nothing I've ever heard of before. I might search on the internet for that. I right. may not buy from it though. I, I, I guess that's- That comes on and I'm, doing what I do during commercials, which is not watch It them. wasn't targeted at you, Joe. I think it was targeted <laughs> at a different demographic. I, that's